Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is January 29th, 2019, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the major economic events today, just one of them coming out of the United States called consumer confidence. Now, this is really a very big number. It pretty much wages a average consumer's confidence in the economy in the United States. And so there's a lot of weight at this number because it really reflects on really what's happening on the ground in the United States and how people's sentiment is about the economy. Now, this is coming a day before our FOMC rate statement, which is coming out tomorrow. So there's a lot of barriers here in terms of how much weight this is adding onto the market. So I would really look into this number to maybe push the market higher if that sentiment is positive. Now, looking at the markets in general, GBP hits resistance at 132 and retraces. Other major Forex symbols are pretty much flat Okay, if we look at them, but uh, some of the other movers and shakers in the market, the indices, Dow Jones hits a snag at 24,800, retraces to 24,400, and then bound, rebounds a little bit from there. Now, that's really following the stock, so we'll take a look at that in just a second. Looking at commodities, gold looks to break out higher, pushing its 1303 level, 1306, looking at it this morning, and all bounces off 51 and a half, between, trading really between $54 and 51 and a half, okay? Now, looking lastly at the stocks, Amazon had a big gap down yesterday and capitulated on the downside and finally sold off and 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 got rid of all the sellers and then rallied into the end of the day. So this is really a very, very indicative sign of some of you know the volatility that's happening in the market and some of the lack of direction. Possibly we may have a rally that might lead us out higher in the Dow Jones and the stock. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. But let's see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're looking here at the GBP USD. And as you can see, we had a previous resistance level at 132-ish level right there. And there we have that subsequent resistance level that we hit the snag right there. Now, it may just look like we're just taking a little bit of a breather, but since this is happening really at this level, we add a little bit more weight to it. Okay, so we may see a further sell off okay if we don't see a further sell off when we break this 132 well guess what our next real resistance level is 134 okay we had this really nice rally since you know capitulating for from the beginning of 2019 up until you know la this week okay so uh so with that said okay um a couple of scenarios here we did hit a snag but we may just find ourselves trading in a new trading range on this upper level, retracing just a little bit, maybe challenging this 132 once more, or we may see a full-fledged reversal here. Okay, with that said, I don't think we'll have that full fed reversal. I think at most we'll retrace to the 130 ish level because this is bona fide buying right here. This is real buyers. So, you know, to say that it's going to, you know, all of a sudden go back to this 126 -ish level, I don't think that that's going to be the case. So just be aware of that, that we may challenge this 132 once more. Now, jumping into gold right here, trading at 1304. Now, this is really pushing its upper limit here from 1304, 1300-ish level. Okay, as you can see here, we're broke above the 1294. Now, this has been very strong. So the fact that it's just rallying like this and popped up like this is quite natural. Okay, however, if we don't see it pushing out higher, maybe even hitting 1315, 1312 ish level, we may see it just make a reversal. So be aware of that because the Dow Jones looks like it's going to uh, solidify and get a little bit stronger as we enter, you know, the latter part of this quarter. Now, looking at oil, we retraced down to 51 and then bounced off of it, trading at 52.18. We're going to be trading, I think, between these two levels, 54 and 51, for quite some time. I don't think we're going to break either above it or below it. You know, there's a lot of funny things happening um, in the world politically. Now, Venezuela is being put into sanctions by the United States. Venezuela happens to be one of the largest producers of oil in the world. So a lot of weight is adding into the price of oil, but nothing is really translating into the real market effect so with that said you know just keep an eye on some of the news that's going on geopolitically around the world but you know ultimately it's not being translated on the graph so you know with all this stuff and all this hype that's happening it's really you know almost irrelevant so 51 to 54 is where i think we'll be trading in oil now looking at that dow jones yesterday we had a nice reversal move if we look at a 30 minute chart you could actually see that we sold off quite sharply from 
24,000 to 24,300 ish level and then rallied right back. Okay, you could see that capitulation right there, you know, as the markets really, you know, were very volatile yesterday. Now, if we look at Amazon, this will really tell the picture of what exactly happened. Now, we're looking at a four hour chart, but let's look at a 30 minute chart to give you a better, uh, let's look at a 50 minute chart even better. All right. I mean, yesterday we had this gap down, okay, where the market just opened up about 30 points lower, okay, right there. That's your gap down. And then, you know, the markets rallied. Look at that. It made a tremendous V formation, okay. And generally in this type of scenarios, it actually goes up even higher. So I do expect a continued rally later today, but I'm looking at this consumer confidence number. That's the number I'm looking for some sort of positive news to possibly take us up higher. Okay, if we don't get that confirmation, then guess what? I think we'll go even lower again and maybe test our lows on the Dow Jones of 24,000-ish levels. So today and tomorrow is a very important day for the U.S. markets, both because consumer confidence and both before because of rate statement, you know, and the uh, central bank in the United States is kind of concerned about inflation, kind of concerned of too much growth all happening all at the same time. So this may be an indication of where we're going to go next as we enter into the latter part of this quarter ending next month in March. So this is something oh, the following month. OK, we're still in January right here, but at the beginning of February. So this is really a very, very big indication of, of a directional move that we'll get. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.